I read this story over the weekend, and it's one that needs to be shared. When the Russians and Germans divided Poland prior to World War II, the Jews of Eastern Poland were invited to accept Soviet citizenship. Rabbi Itzikol of Przeworsk instructed his followers to refuse, rather than tacitly affirm communistic atheism by accepting. Predictably, those Jews were rounded up by the authorities and exiled to Siberia. Condemned to years of hard labor and bitter cold, his followers complained, for this we didn't accept citizenship? The rabbi referred them to the conclusion of the Book of Esther. Faced with a royal decree giving subjects of the Persian Empire a free hand to exterminate the Jews, the king of Persia reversed himself and issued a second proclamation allowing the Jews to defend themselves, effectively annulling the earlier decree. The date of the second decree was the 23rd day of the Hebrew month of Sivan, the rabbi explained. That was the very same day we were shipped to Siberia. It is a day of deliverance and salvation. On such a day, nothing bad can happen. The story seems almost insipid, all the more, since, all the more so since the rabbi made his ruling before they were exiled. If so, how could he have possibly known? But when after the war those Jews were eventually released from their exile, they learned that all those who remained behind had been exterminated in the Nazi death camps. Their exile had saved their lives. They and others like them help rebuild Jewish communities around the world after the Holocaust. The most obvious takeaway for me is that what looks like foolish resistance and reckless self-endangerment in the short run can be the key to survival in the long run. Just this morning, I received this message from a friend. Choosing between wearing a Star of David or not, placing a lawn sign or not, mentioning that I'm Jewish or not. These have been among the items myself, my daughter, and my friends have been grappling with. Fear of being identified as Jewish, yet wanting to do something. Fear of losing a job, yet needing or wanting to speak with colleagues. Fear of doing nothing, as silence can be viewed as the opponent winning. I can't say these fears are unfounded, but fear is one of the greatest enemies of morality and ethics. And the answer to fight, the answer is to fight fear with fear. Concealing your identity is accepting a kind of death, making yourself a victim of murder. Staying silent allows the truth to be buried beneath a relentless surge of propaganda and disinformation. And for those who are not Jewish, to claim objective balance by declining to take sides is wholesale abandonment of the moral high ground and joining the ranks of the millions of ordinary Germans who stood by and watched the rise of the Nazi party and the horrors of the last Holocaust. It may be frightening to stand up and speak out, but it isn't a scintilla as frightening as what will inevitably befall us if we fail to speak up for what is right, what is just, and what is true. The malicious violence of profound evil is literally beating at our door. We can wait silently for the door to give way, or we can arm ourselves with the light of truth and reason. If we do, there might be casualties of battle, but we are guaranteed to win the war.